You've got Vault set up, uh, it's stood up, and you're wondering, how is it that I start interacting with it? What's the best way to actually get the value out of the secrets management solution that I just implemented? And the best way to look at it is taking an application that is exposed right now. Maybe it has its application sitting in uh, GitHub or your version control system. So you wanna say, what's the steps I take to solve that? So it could be any type of app, uh, but you wanna look for one that you're able to move quickly and get some quick wins with. And so it doesn't have to be a big monolith. It could be you know, a microservice or something that is greenfield, brownfield, whatever it may be. It's whatever your biggest threat right now is because you're more willing to move quickly with you know, whatever that app may be. And so as you look to solve for secrets management with that application, what you want to do is make it as seamless for the developer as possible. And so there's different helper tools that can enable you to uh, grab secrets from Vault, place them on a file system, and allow the application to, be con to consume them right away. If they don't want to have the high touch integration of libraries where yes, it's a bit more safe, but you really just want to start rotating your secrets uh, at, a, in a, at a quicker pace. What you can do is adopt a tool like console template or M console. And what they will do is inject those secrets into the environment that the application's already looking at. So if they have a configuration file that's sitting on disk, what you can do is set up these tools to automatically fetch the credentials that they need. Uh, you create a template, it throws them on the file system that the app is already looking at, and then you can run an orchestration command thereafter.